in this video we are going to look at produ producer consumer problem in operating systems which is also known as the bounded buffer problem so first we will hear an interesting story and then try we will try to relate the entire concept with that story in order to understand it in a simpler way which will also help you to remember it for the longest period possible so first look at what a producer and a consumer is so simply a producer is a function or a process that puts value in a shared array okay and consumer is someone is a process which removes or eats that value from that shared array simple pretty simple from this now let's come to the story what our story has to say so there's you and your mom and there's your uncle who is going to visit your home after 15 or 20 years when you last met him you were in your probably you were in your nappies so you were pretty excited but when you are excited you are also hungry i don't know what medical condition uh, that you have but this is how it is your excitement comes uh, below to your stomach and your mom has planned a beautiful dinner for your uncle tonight so she keeps on cooking food uh, putting it in in the fridge and you keep on eating the food from the fridge your mom is the producer the fridge is the shared array and you are obviously the consumer so this is the backdrop story okay now let's try to understand the problem that the producer consumer problem in this story so here is problem number 1 the food should not spill over what that means is your mom should know when the fridge is going to be full right otherwise what will happen is she will keep on cooking food and uh, stuffing the fridge with all the food that she has cooked and after a point of time the fridge is going to burst open with all the food lying down on the floor basically the food all the food will get wasted your uncle is going to be sad your mom is going to be mad and you are going to stay hungry and we don't want you to stay hungry apart from anything else so this is problem number 1 what is problem number 2 since you are hungry and you are going to open the fruit the fridge to find food you should find food inside the fridge otherwise you are going to die of shock so we need to get you food in any way possible it is a life threatening situation for you right here right now this is problem number 2 problem number 3 is this is the problem of critical section your mom should not catch you while taking the food otherwise she is going to beat you blue and black and on the other hand your mom also doesn't want you to find out that she is storing all the entire food of tonight's dinner inside the fridge right so we need a mechanism for both of you to understand how to keep the other away which is the lock in the room so the refrigerator is kept inside a room and the room has a lock we are going to solve all these three problems the producer consumer problem with the help of semaphores okay so in the semaphores we are going to focus on these three values or we are going to take these three values the first one is full what this we uh, keep track of is how much full the fridge is right what part of the fridge is full already full or how much food is already kept inside the refrigerator the other value is empty e this tells you how much empty the fridge is how much more we can store inside the fridge okay and the third one is the lock which is outside the room so the person who is processing the fridge or accessing the fridge will have the lock with him so that the other person doesn't look at them so this these three are going to solve out these three problems respectively so the food should not spill over would be solved by e if we keep track of e if e is becomes zero that means the there is no more sto, uh, space for food available in the fridge and your mom should stop probably should, should stop cooking food for tonight's dinner and should cook something for you 
instead right problem number 2 if you know that the fridge has something a food item let's say one or two five food items you 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 will you are definitely going going to find food inside the fridge when you open it and you are not going to die of hunger because you will find something so this also you know, problem number 2 the problem number 3 would be solved by lock now let's understand let's look at the algorithm step by step what that means and after that we will try run the entire two algor uh, processes so we start with producer which is your mom so your mom brings food from the kitchen and she wants to store the food inside the fridge so first of all she looks that if if there is space available inside the fridge or not so she checks the empty variable if the space is available she decrements the space because obviously the food is going to consume that space she locks the room goes inside she puts the food inside the fridge she comes out unlocks the room and then she increments the full counter so that she knows how much how much food she has already cooked right once she has put the food in the fridge and you have already got the smell of of it you start your own process you find out first of all that the fridge has something or not or it was it just your something you saw in your dreams yes the food has the fridge has food which is a very good news for you so you check for that and you decrement the value of f because you are going to eat food consume food and you are going to leave out empty space so you lock the room from outside because you don't want your mom to see you eat food eat the food you come out by unlocking the room and then you increment the empty counter so that you know how much empty the fridge is and you are not in a shock when you find the fridge empty okay now these are the two different processes now let's try run the the two algorithms for bet better clarity so initially f would be at 0 which means that the fridge is entirely empty and there is no food inside empty would be let's say at the at the full capacity of the fridge let's say the capacity is 5 because there is no food so all the the entire fridge is empty and lock let's say 1 so if lock is 1 that means it's unlocked if it is 0 that means it's locked now your mom comes with the food first of all she checks that is if the fridge is empty yes it is empty she decreases the value of e to 4 because she is going to consume space store food she puts the lock on the room she puts the food inside the fridge she unlocks it and she then she increases the value of full to 1 right because she has stored food in it okay this is what your mom does on the other hand you come up you come around and you are hungry as always so you first of all find out that is there is something in the fridge you wait for f which means is there something present in the fridge yes it is so you decrease the counter from 1 to 0 you lock the room from 1 to 0 okay you eat the food you unlock the room and you increase the empty counter to 5 because you have already you have eaten the food okay so this solves our problem number 1 and problem number 2 so what will happen is once f once e goes to 0 reach is 0 that would mean is there is no empty space left in the fridge so your mom would finally stop cooking and she can take some rest so this solves our problem number 1 for problem number 2 if f gets to 0 that means there is nothing inside the fridge for you to have 
you are not going to open the fridge and you are not going to die of hunger. This problem is again solved. Now for problem number three, let's look at a different case. So let's take a hypothetical situation. Let's say the two parts of the fridge is full, three parts empty and the lock is available or the room is unlocked. Right? Now your mother comes to keep the more food inside the fridge. She checks if, those, if there is still uh, space available. Yes, it is. She decrements the counter. She puts a lock. And when she is inside the room, you go to the fridge and you try to eat out. You, you, when you reach the room, you see that the room is locked because it is zero. Once you find out it is locked, you run as far as possible so that your mom doesn't catch, his, catch you and hammer you. Right? So basically, you are not able to access the fridge when your mom is accessing it. Once your mom has accessed it, he, she has put food inside the fridge. She again unlocks it and increases the counter to 3. Your problem 3 is also solved. So this is producer consumer problem, the entire concept with the help of an example, hope this makes it simple for you and pretty easy to remember. Please, please, please subscribe this video so that we are able to make more such videos and bring more value to you and help you in your academics. And also write in comments if you have any questions and keep looking out for our next video.